beautiful people. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. As you've just heard, we are playing Planet Caravan. Now this version is the Pantera version. There's also a Black Sabbath version out there. Now today to play this version, you guys will need a D whistle. But don't forget, guys, you can play any tune on any key of whistle using tabs. Um, you'll just play a transposed version, and that is okay. Follow along with the tabs on screen, and let's give this a try. Now, if you're a fan of this tune, one thing you will notice is that about halfway through, we get into this amazing guitar solo, and the lyrics stop, and the rest of the song fills out with this amazing guitar solo. But trying to replicate that on Tin Whistle is a little bit on the tedious side, and there's nothing you can do that will match that guitar solo on a Tin Whistle, unless you come up with your own Tin Whistle improvisation. And this is a really fun thing to do during this part of the song, especially if you're playing with a karaoke track. Now, this particular the tune it's really easy to improvise with and that is because the tune itself has quite a limited range of notes that you can play with so if you play with any of these notes that we've already played in this song then you will be able to improvise over the top of the guitar solo complementing it and honestly you can't go wrong so rather than copying the guitar solo and trying to make a tin whistle version i'm going to show you how to improvise over this section and hopefully you guys will really enjoy it now all you need to do to get started with your improvisation is to stick with the notes that we've already learned for the melody of this tune and those notes are e f sharp a b and c sharp and you can play these notes over two octaves as long as you don't play a D, a C natural, or a G, you should be absolutely fine. Now, a tip with improvisation is to vary the length of certain notes. So if you're holding one for a long period, you might want to do some short, fast run-throughs uh, following that to mix things up a little bit. Also, a good idea is to go up and down the scales. So rather than jumping from really high notes to really low notes, work your way up or down those scales. Also, a good idea is to replicate certain phrases that we've already learned from learning the melody. So you might want to play the starting phrase and then play around a little bit after that because it'll keep you tied in with the original tune and the melody and it should sound really good. So play with these notes and see how you get on.
So that is it for me today, guys. I hope you loved this one. If you did, please do hit that big thumbs up button. Like this video, share it with your friends, your family, anybody you'd like to annoy. <laughs> um, don't forget as well to subscribe and hit the bell because all of that helps me to grow as a YouTube channel and keep creating content for you guys here. This tune was actually a commission request by a Patreon supporter. You guys can commission tunes and tutorials here on my channel um, by checking out Coffee and Patreon and my website linked in the description down below. You can also support me monthly to help my tin whistle journey here and also get access to a whole host of extra stuff on these two platforms. You can find out more information above. And if you love this video and the super thanks button is showing below, you can also support me directly here on YouTube. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. This was the Sin Whistle, which is part of a whistle set. I've linked that video here and the rest I'll just put up some slow rock or metal tunes that I think you guys might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, have a great week, I will see you later in the week for some more Tin Whistle awesomeness. Happy whistling, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!